Okay, welcome to uh, part three of the number guessing game GUI uh, version using TK, Enter, and Python. Um, so far, this is what we have. We have a simple functioning guessing game. Uh, the computer has chosen a number, a random number from one to ten, and it's my job to guess it. So if I hit Enter five, I hit check. It tells me the number is lower. Try two. Hey, correct. I'm pretty good at this game. So what we want to implement next is a reset function. So I've got it correct. Now I want to reset it and basically have another shot at it. Um, currently what I have the reset button doing is basically quitting the game. So let's hit that. Okay, it quit. That was nice of it. Okay, so uh, as with the check button, we need to create a function uh, that the, that could be called when we click that button. Now I called a check, just again, you want to choose names that make sense. Um, so we're going to define a function and call this one reset. Okay. And I'm going to put pass here for now. And that just, that's just a placeholder because I have to have something indented uh, after the, you know, for the code block. And then down here for the command, I'm going to change that to reset. Notice I didn't put brackets, or excuse me, parentheses, because they are not needed. And if you wanted to pass values, you'd have to do it a slightly different way. Um, so inside of our reset function, what we're going to have to do is a few different things. Is we're going to have to have the computer choose a new number, and we're going to have the, you know, the label say something like, you know, game is reset. You know, please guess again. Just so letting the user know. Uh, now something we have to do here, and is we have to use the global keyword for the variable computer guess. What this tells us is that this computer guess is the same as this one, which was created outside of a function. It was, cre it was created inside kind of the main program. Uh, so that tells us that this is not a local variable. If it was by itself, it would be a local variable, and it wouldn't be accessible inside this function. Uh, you need, if you don't know what a global and a local variable are, you need to uh, look that up, and that's a bit outside the scope of this. But basically, we're going to say this is a global variable. So this computer guess is the same as this computer guess, which is the same as this computer guess. Okay, so, uh, and basically to make life easy, because I'm kind of lazy, is I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to declare it to be a global variable, and I'm going to and choose a random number, just like we did before. And then the last thing I say we're going to do is we're going to uh, you know, change the label result text. And we've done that before. So if we look here, we can just copy that. You know, why reinvent the wheel? In this case, we're going to give it a, a set message. So something game reset, guess again. Okay, so let's save that and try it. So, welcome to the guessing game. Pretty good strategy here. Five, it's lower. Two, it's lower. Three, ooh, lower, I went the wrong way. Uh, one, correct. Now, if I change this, five, check it's lower, it's still one. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to hit reset. Okay. So, reset takes us to here computer guess global variable I get a new random number and I tell the user the game's been reset okay so let's try five again okay now it's higher try eight still higher nine correct okay so now we have a second button calls this function and it basically resets the game